Hello chatbot developers. Now in this section of the video, we are going to see how you can navigate from one flow to another flow. So you can see in my console, I have two flow. First default start flow and second sample flow. So this sample flow I have just created for the demonstration purpose. It has nothing but a true route. A true route is a customized expression. Whatever happens when we come to this flow, uh, this will send the response provided in the fulfillment section. So I have just provided a sample response. You are in a sample flow. In order to navigate from one flow to another flow, we need to get the target flow string. So if I come here and just go back, we have these two things, target page and target flow. If I look into this, you will see the target page and target flow follows a kind of a pattern. Projects, project ID, location, location ID, agent, agent ID, flow and flow ID. So you can get this information from here. You can see the URL. So we have projects, project ID, location, location ID, agent, agent ID, flow and flow ID followed by that. So I will copy this. I'll come here and inside our controller, let's say let target flow equals to this string we just copied. And you can see here the format response for dialog flow accepts four arguments, text, session info, target flow and target page. So the third one is target flow. So I'll say target flow. Let me save this. That means when we are on default start flow and we will say hello, it will send a response from since we have connected it to webhook from webhook and we will navigate to this sample flow as well. So we will see the response from this true route that is you are in sample flow. So let me test this. Let me say hi. So you can see that these three response are from webhook and we have navigated to the sample flow. Inside the sample flow, we have this you are in sample flow response. So this is how you can navigate from one flow to another flow. Let's move to the next section of the video and learn how to navigate from one page to another page. And if you have some programming experience and you are smart enough, I'm sure you guess the next move, how we are going to navigate from one page to another page inside of flow. So see you in the next section of the video.